the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Father in heaven, Lord, you are worthy to be praised, honored, glorified, and revered, dear Father. Worthy of worship. We want to thank you for who you are. We want to thank you that uh, because you are, are a God of love, that you loved us so much, dear Lord, that you gave your son. Yeah. And we are so fortunate that for those of us who believe in you, we have that intimate and direct relationship with you. Help us to not take it for granted, dear Father. Yeah. Help us to understand how how much that means for us in all of eternity, and, and, and that when we internalize that, dear Lord, that we uh, we we humble ourselves and we take on the character of Your Son Jesus Christ, yeah. His humility, uh, His His commitment, His dedication, His desire to set His uh, his fleshly portion aside and just follow your will. Yes. Help those who are listening to this message to do likewise, dear Lord. Yes. Our flesh wants to rise up. It's enmity against you. Yes. But Lord, put our will aside and help us to yield to you because yes. you have our best interests in mind always. Thank you for your compassion, for your love and for your mercy. Dear Lord, we have many things that are, are right with our nation, and we thank you for those things that are right, but we have so many things that are wrong. We have so many people that are misguided. We have a terrible sin that's, that's going on. Um, we ourselves may commit sin, dear Lord, and we may know about it, and maybe we don't know about it. But Lord, address all of those things. Help us to, to, to understand that you, if we act according to your will and your way, then things are so much better for each and every one of us. And we have more freedom, not just more freedom uh, according to what a government says, but more freedom according to what you say. Spiritual freedom. And we can love one another and, and encourage one another and, and support one another. Dear Father, we know that there's some folks who didn't have peace last night. I slept in peace, but I know that there are folks, some who didn't have peace and, and maybe they were up all night worrying about things or, or maybe they didn't wake up because something uh, something terrible happened and somebody took their life. I pray for those individuals. I pray for their souls. I pray for their families. I pray for their friends and even for their enemies, dear Father. Father, thank you for the scripture that is about to be discussed this morning. Help us to internalize it. Help us to, to walk it and help us to understand that, that even when there are people who think differently from us, we are still to love them, yes. to, to cherish their personhood, because that is what Jesus did. Mm. And we are to follow his lead, yes. not the lead of men. Thank you for the things that are in our hearts that you are already addressing, their known and unknown. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen, amen. Well, thank you for that. And, and I know that you, you have to uh, uh, get it going in a few minutes. This is the opening, just let you know though, this is the opening uh, scriptures dealing with the Good Samaritan. I like it, what you know, because it's kind of, it's kind of like to me, it's like the uh, Christian Christianity in action. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And, 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 and it, it, it leads toward the thing that Christ want to reach out to, to, to the to society. So so it started in Luke 10, uh, 25. Well, you know, it says, behold, a certain lawyer, right? This is an educated man, right? Uh, well, at least a uh, complicated man. <laughs> mm -hmm. one, of my other, one of my uh, relatives say, oh, when I say I don't think about being a lawyer one time, I was a little kid. He said, oh, so you think about being a liar? I was like, there. <laughs> <laughs> He just, he just, just, he, he don't know, but he put it, he just dissuaded that, 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 uh, desire, you know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but the Lord, is, but the Lord, the Lord stood up and, and tempted him, tempted Jesus, saying, Master, 
what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And that's a good, good, good question, ain't it? It is a good question. Inherit eternal life, right? Mm -hmm. And he said unto him, what is written in the law? How read is that? And he answered, and, and he answered and said, thou shalt love the Lord thy God. See, and that's how, that's how I like this Christian doctrine here, basically. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy strength and with all thy mind and thy neighbor as thyself. See, that's what people see, right? They will see that love for one another, right? Mm -hmm. And he said unto him, thou hast answered right, do this, and thou shalt live. But he willing to justify himself, and I think that's where Brother Jackson, I think, used to me, sometimes Christianity, or people in Christianity, or people in ministry, uh, stray off is they try to justify ourselves. Right? And mm -hmm. said to Jesus, who is my neighbor? And, and that was an important question when somebody asked that, right? Before you, matter of fact, that's what we're going to wrap up with you. But what, who is your neighbor? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, because and then if, 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 if that matters, what, what does it matter to be who's your neighbor? Mm -hmm. So that's the point. Well, if they're not your neighbor, what? What does that mean? You know? Uh, right. And I think that's something to ask yourself. As, as, as you go forward and do your thing, is what, what if they're not your neighbor, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. uh, and if they are your neighbor, what does that mean? Yeah. Right. Uh, if, you, if you want it, you can tell me for you, you're one man. <laughs> well, I, I think in the context of this, and, and, and really when I say it's not, when I say in the context of this, but the context is mm -hmm. that everybody is our neighbor, everybody is our brother, everybody is our sister, uh, those who are elder to us, are, they are our mothers, they are our fathers, that everybody is kinfolk. And when uh, I think it implies that when it says that we should love our neighbor as we love ourselves, then how we see ourselves is very important as yeah. well. Because if we did have disdain for ourselves, especially if we we've grown up with a with a, a corrupted you know self esteem, mm -hmm. uh, you know that's going to be a, a problem. Yeah. And so it's that particular scripture is saying a lot of things about perspective, spiritual perspective. We are creations of God. We are made in his image. Yeah. We are to take on the character of Jesus. Yeah. Um, and even before the uh, he came upon, you know, this earth, you know, obviously in the law, was trying to demonstrate to us, look, these are the ways that we should conduct ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so everyone is, is our neighbor. When we see somebody walking down the street and uh, they don't look like, you know, we look, they don't yeah. dress like we dress. They don't whatever, you know, to say, hey, I'm, I separate myself from that individual. That's someone who I would not associate with that. And I get it because the world has, you know, we've got this thing going on right now, right? Yeah. So we're talking, we're not talking secularly here. We're not talking, speaking the way the world speaks. We're talking spiritually. And so, so that way, uh, irregardless as to what that person looks, sounds like, skin color, uh, male, female, w w what side of the street they come from, they're all our neighbors, somebody to be loved, and that goes vice versa. Um, you know, how we talk in a marriage, a marriage should be 100%, 100%, not half and half, and, and then, you know, this, that, and the other. We are to give our all, and if I'm giving all to my neighbor, my neighbor is doing the best that he or she can to give all to me. You know, that is a beautiful relationship and, and there's peace and harmony um, where I live. Yeah, exactly. And that's what I want to say. And, and people see, they read you, right? And, and how you react to that or not deal with that. Uh, that. That tells them it's like, okay, you have nothing to do with me. So so that means God has nothing to do with them. To them. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. that they don't know him. They, 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 they're all, you're, you know, we, are, we are ambassadors of Christ. Mm -hmm. And how did Christ deal with uh, people, right? He came mm -hmm. and loved people. He talked to the, the sinners. He mm -hmm. went to, to the places of people who are called 
from our society perspective undesirable. And and, and for us as African Americans, we we probably should be more sensitive to anybody. Because right. we're projecting us based on the color of our skin. Mm -hmm. We should know. We should, yeah, that's we right. Should know exactly. I see mm -hmm. where there's even some of the, the attacks on the Asian if you if you see some of the I seen it right so far I seen two black you know blacks attack the Asian. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what the heck? Of all the people, right? Who you attacked an who, who who you defended? That's right. right? So mm -hmm. so that that's what I'm saying is that we we supposed to show exactly what that guy was saying is to love our neighbors that's mm -hmm. and, and if we do that, we send a powerful message. So you got to go. Yeah. So uh, God bless you, brother, and I wish you success on your study. Appreciate it. Appreciate and, it. In the future, like I said, why don't you, you can always uh, warm up with us. Or warm up mm -hmm. with us anyway. Amen. 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 All okay. right. Appreciate you. Stay glad. You too. All right. Brother Addison, what's going on? You're muted, huh? Or at least I can't hear you. It's not muted, it's just I don't hear nothing. I'm gonna test, I'm gonna test my speaker. Testing, one, two, three, testing. Oh, I heard you move something. Tell like you're moving. Do a mic, uh, do a mic check. Bishop, how you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we got brother uh, Addison. He's working on. His, he got some technical difficulties uh, as far as trying to get get. Uh, <laughs> get that. But hey, I wanted to. Uh, I was telling you about, I, I went, I did my CIT for, for the parable I suggested. And I, I wanted, I just read the uh, the beginning, which is not so much of a parable, but a study. Uh, and let me show you what I got here. It, it, it's, I, and, and I was, uh, I, and I left with a brother Jackson. He had the league and he got to take a little class at his uh, church. And then they're physically going there. Uh, but, you know, I start off with that, the, the parable of the Good Samaritan. I, I wanted to put down the fact is where it start off, is that this is the setting, is that, and behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And he said to them, he said the same thing, he said to the rich man, what is written in the law? How read it back? The answer he said, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy strength and with all thy mind and thy neighbor as thyself. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right. Do this do, and thou shalt live. But he, willing to justify himself, said unto Jesus, Who is my neighbor? And and I left, Brother Jackson left with that. And the question is, when somebody asked that question, and he, this is my uh, CIT, or CIT for this uh, this parable, uh, I put in there, made in my image, that's the, the man who's going to be attacked, attacked, left for dead, ignored by my representative, and then I put kingdom neighbors help neighbors. 
because it's 18 words. I had to say it's an 18 words. But the, the point I was wanted to, uh, I left off Brother Jackson, he did give a good answer, was if it's not your neighbor, then what? You know, if it is your neighbor, then what? Uh, and and, and that, that's something that the parable is going to talk about, but if it's not your neighbor, what do you do? How do you respond? Well, I was trying to talk, but it ain't coming through. Let me see here. What do you think, Bishop, what is going over? You can't, you can't talk to somebody, you can't speak. Hey, I'll, I'll do a reset, Brother Jack Addison. Go out and come back in. You can you hear me? We're working on it. So, 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 Bishop, that's, that's, I think that's, I like the, uh, I, I love this parable because it sets the, the tone. And I guess I call it Christian in action. No? Christianity in action is how I look at it. Um, and I, I thought that, I thought that's a really important for us to, to be able to look at it from that perspective. Christianity in action. You know, the scripture, I, you know, I like what he said, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, and thy neighbor. And I, sometimes I, I just wonder what the people, when they say, if they, if the answer is, who is my neighbor? What's the, if you say it's not your neighbor, what does that mean? What do you mean not your neighbor? Well, that's what I'm saying. The question is, look, you go back to his, uh, before this parable began, because Jesus answered that parable. The guy answered in verse 29, he willing to justify himself unto Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Now Jesus is responding to that question. This parable is a response to the question, who is my neighbor? And the, the flip flop of that is, okay, if that's not your neighbor, what does that mean? That's, that's my that's my question on that. If it's not your neighbor, what does that mean? Hmm. Yeah, it's a, good, it's a good point, ain't it? What does that mean if it's not your neighbor? And maybe in a parable, that's basically what you're going to get out of the parable is uh, the, the, the people who ignored him, they're responding because they're not their neighbor and, and and that's maybe that's why i say this is more of a christianity in action or in action from christ's perspective that's why i said there put mine is that i put the uh, uh central idea of the text is that the the, the man that was wounded was made in the image of god that all men were made in the image of God. Uh, the man was attacked. And I put it as a physical attack. And then we know there's a spiritual attack that happens. I even put down one of the scriptures there. Uh, and left for dead. You know, I, I was dissecting the, uh, the whole parable uh, as we went down there. Uh, but like I said, first of all, just let you say, I think the the the, the uh, central idea of the text is the fact is that on a spiritual level, we normally all the parables are called spiritual truth. Uh, the, the the man that was attacked was made in the image of God. In reality, what all men are made in the image of God, right? At least from the beginning. He was attacked, and I said, "That's on a spiritual level. We know that the devil continued to attack. Uh, he was left for dead, and ignored by my representatives. And I'm guessing these parables here. You're going to see 
the Levites and the priests. So I started off with the, the, the beginning of the parable, and what I was trying to do when he did the slides is where there's, there's a expounding of the scriptures, uh, from my perspective as I was reading it, that, that uh, made sense. Here's Brother Addison again, let's see. Let's see if he can come on up. Can you hear me, Brother Addison? Yeah, I can hear you. Yay! We can hear you too. <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. My uh, desktop, but uh, but I, I man, when 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 we were talking earlier, yeah, and you you were saying that this was representative. Rep it was it was it was uh the church a representation of the church this is this has the action yeah yeah well i i i don't think so <laughs> you, you tell me his parable because i mean it's it's it represents our church yeah but i don't think it represents christianity well, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it was, I guess we really want to say it doesn't represent the kingdom, right? Because remember, he preached the kingdom, right? Yeah, yeah. So, well, so kingdom principles, yeah. Well, my, my thing is the, uh, so the, the priest, of course, we know that that is, he, he, uh, he he represents yeah. you know, the, old, the old church. He does, yeah. You know, and then the Levite he he represents the old church as well because all he did was support the church. Exactly. Yeah. You got these two people who represent the church. Yeah. yeah. That did nothing for this man. Exactly. The and kingdom. so that's why, um, uh, it it. Uh, it blows me away with that. Right. And then you have this Samaritan uh -huh. who they they believe that they have a blood right to the kingdom. Oh, to the kingdom, yes, right, right. You know, but the but the uh Jews rejected them. But the Jews rejected them. Right. Okay, so all this is just pointing to to Jesus Christ to me. Exactly, that's what I, exactly that's what I got out of. And um, you know, it it just even the lawyer. Uh huh. And, and and when you look at the lawyer who's supposed to be well versed in the law. Exactly. Well versed, and and not only that, he's. He's watching all these other people trying to corner Jesus, and like a lawyer, okay, I got I got my way of getting him now. I don't got all the evidence. I can corner him with this. Yes, yes. And so then we have him asking Jesus, you know, how can I, or how do I? Yeah, I go back to it. Yeah. Inherit eternal life. Yeah. Okay. He can't inherit eternal life. Right. It's it it's a it's a blood thing. It's a family thing. You got to be in the family to inherit. Right. Well, he assumes he is because he's a Jewish. Boy. He assumes. Right. He's a he's a covenant. He's in covenant with Christ. Oh, it's covered with God anyway, through the blood of Abraham. So, you know, and, and instead of Jesus, you know, letting them know <laughs> that through me, <laughs> <laughs> he asked him, you know, what does the law say? Yeah, yeah. And it's similar to a rich man, right? He ran to Jesus and said, what was I do? That's yeah. the same question. Yeah. Uh, so he was, this guy obviously not rich. He's a lawyer yeah well he could be rich 
<laughs> he probably is rich. But uh, <laughs> but that that that's what uh, what got me because it's it, it's a great question. Yeah, and, you and know. Think, yeah, and it, and I found that no one could fulfill this this law. No. Outside of Christ, no right. one. Right. And and yet he thought he could. And, and, and then and then when he 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 quote these these laws, uh -huh. then what he questioned was something that he thought he could fulfill. Exactly, exactly. You know exactly. the neighbor part. Exactly. And and, and I like it. And I was like, that was you took up with this and asking the same question. I was asking questions. I was asking that too. Was what? What if it's not my neighbor? What does that mean? And, and that's where I wanted to, to you know, ride it to. What if he's an object neighbor? What does that mean? I, I don't, I don't, I don't even, <laughs> I, I can't even, I, I, it would take me some time to even wrap that question into this parable. Well, that's the whole point, right? Because Jesus is answering that question with this parable. You know what I mean? He didn't answer that question. He Well, he's answering it in the parable. Watch this, because he said, look, this is the, uh, that's the question, that's the setting, I'll call that the backdrop. I start off first with, uh, and then say, here's my center at the end of the text, where made in my image, attack, I'm doing the synopsis of the parable, right? Made in my image, attack, left for dead, ignored by my representatives, which they were, his representative, in the old, you know, the old church. And then I put period, and I said, kingdom neighbors help neighbors. In other words, I was taking from the principles of, of this parable that he's saying kingdom neighbors help neighbors. Uh, and then the question is, are we answering that now? Uh, so let's, you know, I start with verse 10. It says, I mean, 30, chapter 10, verse 30 in Luke. And Jesus, he's answering. I'm just telling you, I'm just saying is he's saying he's answering it, right? <laughs> He, he answering and said. So he's saying is, who is my neighbor? He's shooting this parable to answer that question. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so he's saying that. He's, I'm going to answer this question for you. So he gave the parable and said, a certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment and wounded him and departed, leaving him half dead. That's the setting, right? Yeah. So now when I, I broke that, and I, I won't go to the next slide until I hear your, your, your part of that. Okay, uh, well, in, in, in my, my answer to your question, when you say who is not your neighbor, yeah. well, obviously it's not the church <laughs> because that's who passed this dude a box. <laughs> hey, look, right, now you're saying this. He's, I think he, in his parable, he's trying to give a distinction uh, that you may say you're the church, right? Or you can say that you are representing the kingdom, but your actions are going to speak differently. I think it's, it's, it all boils down to love. Yeah. Because that, isn't that basically compassion? Yeah. Yeah. But that's what he said is, you know, in the end, you know what the scripture said is, the one who showed mercy, yeah, the, right. So, so that's the contrast of what Jesus said is, "Who is my neighbor?" The man answered it in the end, the one who shows mercy. So that, that and so the flip of that is, the people who don't show mercy, they're not your neighbor. 